me a little bit about um, your history with the book. Did you read it, and how did they change the uh, storyline of your character? There's some differences from the book. I like am about to really badly tell on myself because I didn't read it before we started shooting, and I I always said I was never going to be the kind of actor that did that, and then I fully did. Like I was terrible. But I think what, what it was for me was that I knew there were some differences from the book, so I wanted to dive into the script without worrying about whether I was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. um, but the book is like just as fun as the movie, even with the differences that are between the two. So your character, in a way, has two different love stories. She had, or actually maybe three. I think she has one, or you have one with yourself, and you have one with your best friend. And of course, one with a girl that's that you know. Um, coming out in high school is probably an extremely difficult thing. How do you think that this movie tackled it as far as the relationship we see between you and this girl on screen? Um, part of what I liked about it is uh, that it, the movie approaches the issue of coming out in high school with complete lack of judgment on, about anyone's particular choice. You know, coming out in high school is really hard. Um, and some people aren't able to come out in high school in the same way that others are. And so Dory is like out and proud and it's totally good and it's, an, it's a non-issue, which is lovely to see in a film like this. And then also with Anna's character, there's more complexity there, but that is treated like with the same amount of empathy and respect as anyone else's journey, which is nice. So do you think that in almost 2020, kids in high school are a bit more accepting than they would have been before, um, you know, like maybe 10 years ago or so? I mean, I hope so, because like I, I came out in high school and some of it was terrible. <laughs> so yeah, I hope so. Um, I just, what's important to me is that LGBT young people are safe and cared for. Is there any Christmas movie that you ever watch and think, actually there could be a really great LGBTQ storyline here, or this could have been turned into something, like a retelling of something, or maybe we can remake that one day? Yeah, that happens to me with every film I see, in any genre, any time, any, any film. So Christmas, of course, brings people together, brings love. Tell me a little bit about how this film, in a way, brings all these different types of people, whether they're gender or their race, or just the way that they are in real life. I think Jacob was saying this when we were doing press a couple of days ago. What he was saying was that it's just real. Like, you know, different people exist in, in a group, in a school environment or in a town. Like. The real world looks like that. Yeah. Diversity of like gender and sexuality and race, those things are just true. So it's nice to be part of a film where those things are just taken as given. You know? So I know that you obviously have been in this industry for quite some time. <laughs> I mean, a few years. I mean, you've done some fantastic stuff. Uh, what was your biggest fear? Did you ever have a biggest fear as far as really becoming who you are and how people would accept it? Um, that's so sweet. I feel like I've been here for five minutes. Uh, I think... I think the biggest fear I had was was expressing my gender identity. I mean, I've only started talking about it publicly in the last year or so, but I, I'm non-binary and I use they, them pronouns. And that's still a process. There's still a lot of people who don't know that about me or don't understand that about me. And so I was very scared about that for a long time. And what's exciting is feeling as though I'm in a place where I can, I can start getting there. And so I'm excited to see how that continues.